Some of the biggest problems facing our global environment are pollution later in toxic communities, which make the world an unhealthy place for youth. Fortunately, community artists and organizations are working to promote more earth-friendly practices such as recycling, composting, creating community gardens, and using the arts to educate about keeping it green. Well, we use the art to um, raise awareness about ways to go green. Um, so this is the Green Youth Media Center, Oakland Green Youth Arts and Media Center. And w as you can see, this is a painting in the tradition and culture of hip hop. And so this is to attract youth from the neighborhood that this is a place where they belong. We have audio production classes. We have um, film classes, theater classes. So basically, we, uh, you know, grow the food and give it, give it to the poor or give it back to the community. Sometimes I'll take the food or whatever, uh, eat it. <laughs> this is the aquaponic system. Basically, uh, basically, this, uh, these rocks don't have no dirt in it, so it help, it grows the plants. You know, with, uh, with not only the roots and rocks, basically. So, like, it's like a little recycling thing. Like, the goldfish have minerals, then the water suck up, and it goes to this, and it goes right back down the water where the goldfish is at. And it won't kill the goldfishes or nothing like that. So, you know, they all right, living, living well. Farm Fresh Choice is another organization that I started 10 years ago uh, through the Ecology Center in Berkeley. And Farm Fresh Choice trains youth, young people, to go to child care centers and recreation centers in South and West Berkeley and um, sell organic produce wholesale mm -hmm. to families to get and encourage people to eat more fruits and vegetables. We also provide cooking instruction and we uh, provide gardening instruction through Farm Fresh Choice and the Ecology Center. All of the food and flowers that you see here behind you, everything that you see uh, was grown by the students. And this tomato is a perfect example of what I'm trying to teach the students. They planted these tomatoes in the spring before school let out. And uh, when they came back, the tomatoes were ripe, and this is a tomato. And now we're going to take this tomato and make salsa out of it. The, the gardens do bring communities together, um, foster community in intergenerationally, also cross-culturally. Um, that's something that is, is a, a known um, outcome of work in community gardens. What it's done is it's, it's given um, some new purpose to people who are in a new, very unfamiliar urban setting, um, having often come from agrarian or rural backgrounds and the gardens, um, they've said to me, sort of gives them purpose um, on a day-to-day -day basis and it enables them to continue their cultural tradition of farming. There isn't too many things you see in our neighborhood just promoting us to live a healthy lifestyle or promoting our culture, our interests, and our better well-being. So doing the Forces of Nature mural was very important in the sense that it is combating these social toxins by promoting culture, by promoting health, by promoting a, a link to our origins on this earth, um, by promoting a healthy link and harmonious balance um, with our women, with Mother Earth and with nature. OBUGS is located in West Oakland because it's a community that doesn't have access to a lot of these resources or a lot of the resources that other communities do. So we're here um, 
because this is where kids really need a space to be able to be kids and get dirty. Obugs is making a difference, I think, because it's been here for so long. We've had the opportunity to work with a lot of these kids from kindergarten till eighth grade. We work with um, St. Patrick's uh, Middle School and St. Martin de Porres Elementary School, and a lot of those kids have had Obugs now for eight or nine years of their life. Um, and I think we've really impacted a lot of those kids um, knowing a lot more about their food and where it comes from and how it grows and what it needs to get to that point. 